Welcome back to the main event. Today, we are going to turn this into this. This right here, <laughs> this nonsense right here is why you can just close these. All right, so here's the deal. We've had these blinds in the home for 19 years. They're original blinds when we put in. They're just a faux wood, two inch horizontal blind. Now they got some issues, as in this little twisty knob thing doesn't twisty knob anymore. The string that you would use on the right hand side here, it's difficult to pull up and then to put back down. So today we're gonna upgrade them with some plantation shutters. The hope is not only is it gonna look better, they're gonna work better, but maybe even add some curb appeal to the home. All right, so we purchased these blinds from blinds.com. Couple of choices you can make. You can have an exterior mount or an interior mount. These are gonna be an interior mount. So we just measured the inside of the window frame, gave them our measurements, and boom, these blinds show up. The tools we use for this project are framing square, two foot level, drill slash screw gun. We used a hammer. We used a caulk. We used a screwdriver. And we also used a little alcohol and a rag. All right, you may also need a step ladder. And I found this little nubby uh, crosshead screwdriver uh, particularly useful when putting shims in. nicely packaged. The shutters came in two different boxes. Um, man, these are bubble wrapped, locked in tight. It's going to make good for good shipping. And then this is the frame section. This came in a third separate box. So this is the frame that's going to go around the interior of the window. And then all the hardware and instructions are here at the bottom of this, this uh, package. top, the sides where uh, the hinges are, and then the bottom. And uh, when we get to this step, you're going to see that these little biscuit, these little plastic pieces, Pooh Bear calls them biscuits, um, they're just going to snap these corners together. left, right, top, bottom with just a simple L, R, T, and B. Here we go. It's demo time. We gotta set this up next to install the frame that we just put together. So we're gonna take out these, these blinds, these curtains, and then we'll take these uh, blinds, old blinds down. You alright? 
Yeah. Did it hit you in the head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any cuts? Makes a good video. No blood. No blood? The chief is finally here. <laughs> Neil R. Oh, I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't need the extension. You can't just. Okay. Well, we got an extension. <laughs> it just got funny. <laughs> but he's not he's he's curious as to how this made in China <laughs> thing could be level in America that's that's almost dead nuts see what we got here that's dead nuts right that is bang on okay yeah that's pretty good that's not bad I mean this is so B loves home is in Florida most Florida homes are made of concrete block or center blocks which is what he has so the window is framed <laughs> <laughs> This window is framed with a concrete lentil and blocks on the side. So the kit comes with stainless steel screws, which would be great if you live in a home that has wood framing. Not the case here. So we're gonna drive this nail real quick into this, see how much we have uh, room, because there should be some furnace strips or something. And if not, we're gonna need to use concrete, like uh, tacons. Do I need to get you a ladder? No. Cut. Put it in too far, you gotta get it out. That, um, that's pretty solid. Solid. All right. So we've got some sort of frame. That's concrete. That's block. He has a marble window sill. We won't be able to. We're not going to drill through it. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually just put a small bit of caulk down and let that do the work for us. But like everything in life, preparation is most of the battle. So we're going to clean it with a little bit of alcohol. Wipe it off so we have good stick. Okay. <laughs> well, it's fast acting to the acting. Wow. <laughs> well, it did have blinds in Where's... This is why we clean. Where's, where's the maid? You're free. <laughs> Fire your maid, dude. So you may have noticed that we switched. No. <laughs> you may have noticed that we switched silicones here, or we switched cocks. Turns out that uh, B Love's first tube of cock was as old as his window blinds, and that stuff wasn't coming out of the tube. Didn't know that at the time. Anyway, so here we are. So we now we've got the 100% uh, silicone for kitchen, bath, and window. It doesn't say windows on here, but we're gonna go ahead and use it anyway. <laughs> It'll be all right. We're gonna have to cut the top, right, circumcise this thing. Let's go. This tube of cloth, dude. This is brand new. No, it, is it brand new or is it just on? Did you pick it up yesterday? No, I don't know. I don't, who knows how long I've had? Oh boy. Maybe since 2020. When it's COVID cock. When I recocked the whole house. Did you use? Used by 52021. <laughs> it's COVID cock. Feel sick already. <laughs> I get a fever. 
Dude, this thing is this is not coming out, dude. Take 18. <laughs> I'm, I'm caulking. Take 18 caulking. Got some. <laughs> oh, hand cramp. Oh my gosh. This Check see for plum here. See, we're out of plum now. Go ahead and put this in and see. What, maybe it'll maybe it draws it in. It doesn't need a lot, but I would say do this one before you do that yeah. middle one. Weird. We use the blinds.com providing stainless steel screws to. To fasten the left side, went pretty well. Let's keep going. check with the level and that'll give you level and plum another tool to use is the framing square once you have level all you have to do is work 90 degrees and it's the framing square from there so here we go we're going through this framing square on and we will we'll check our level action see what we got and that is 90 degrees Amen. oh no oh don't break glass Right, so you're just backing that out. Yeah. So what Cliff was saying is if we had shims, you would put that behind the frame, between the sheetrock and the frame. And then that makes it tight, gives the, the frame something to squeeze to. So right now, we're out of square a little bit, so we're trying to bring this, it's not plumb, it needs to come back, the bottom needs to kick out towards the center in order to be plumb. We don't have any true window or door shimming shims. Uh, which are typically wood or composite. So, poor man hack, we use the old blinds that b going to throw away anyway, and we cut those and made our own little shims. Uh, and the reason we need those is on this side, it's definitely starting to open up the gap on the joint. We don't want that, that's less than desirable. You have to do a lot of caulking to fill that. So, uh, that was a, a chief hack actually. Chief came up with that idea. So here we go. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the level guy, that's all I do. You draw that in just a skosh, it will be good. Official construction turn. It'll be good. Check, check, check. Bingo. straightforward we didn't read the directions but uh we're just gonna like a regular door uh, hinge we'll set it in position and tap the hinge pin down and ta-da well, let's start with the middle one why not if there's any real right one. Oh, wow that was easy tap my no tap needed no tap needed you know Whoa. 
that's when you know your prep work paid off. Everything <sighs> hangs right. Boom. Or blinds.com does a really good job. They're not paying for this video, are they? I don't know. <laughs> so, you, 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 this gap in the center you may not be able to see but the gap at the bottom is much bigger than the gap at the top and the instructions say to use those plastic shims chief just had right, we'll put behind one. the hinges put it behind take this loose and put it behind there and that will bring will draw the bottom of the blind away from the wall should help close the gap. But one shim did not do it for that gap, so we're gonna try another one. Okay. All in all, we put three shims. We've put five total. Five total. We have three, three on this side and one on that side. Okay, but it closed this gap. Yeah. Right there in the center. We're flush at the top. All our other lines are straight. That's what you get for free. <laughs> free labor? <laughs> <laughs> All we have left to do is to insert these plugs to cover up the holes. Uh oh. This right here, <laughs> this nonsense right here is why you can just close these. <laughs> no more cheap. <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in to another episode of DIY with the Man Event. More do it yourself by Pooh Bear and Chief than me, but that's kind of how it goes. So stay tuned for more projects as we try to do upgrades around our house and on our cars and things like that. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Man of an out. Ooh, you know what else you can do with this? What? If they say, you know, you got a friend across the street and cell phones are down and you need to talk to them, oh, you can do a little bit of this. You can land planes. <laughs> what else can you do with this, I wonder? <laughs> Play music. Play Give me uh, three minutes and 40 seconds into Phil Collins in the air tonight. Tonight, tonight. Circa 2000 below. I don't know who that guy is anymore. This is circa 2005? 2000. So that loop that's speaking about 11. seconds of an inch. If we put two on this side, we'll do the same thing. Holy smoke, this is the one we need right here. This is B Love in high school and our friend John. <laughs>